setting the recording. Okay, so I was gonna say, um, you can stay unmuted because um, this full moon practice, we wanna focus on the throat center. Um, that's kind of the, the focus of this particular moon cycle is a lot on um, expression, um, kind of making declarations, making commitments and expressing our voice, our voices. Mm -hmm. um, so make sure before we really start that you have something that you can write with. Yep. Okay, great. Um, that's pretty much all you need, just something you can write with and the capability to stand up for some of the practice. Um, we won't be doing any of the kind of burning um, that we have done in the previous practices, precisely because it's about retaining our our notes, retaining our journaling, retaining our um, declarations that we're going to make in the process of the, the practice tonight. So, um, as opposed to maybe more of a, a cleansing and releasing, we're really about expression, clarity of communication. So we'll do some practices for the throat center, for the neck, throat, for our breath, finding rhythm. And we're gonna do some practices as well um, with sound, vocalization, expressing ourselves that way and do some writing and then some affirmations out loud as well. So I encourage you to keep this uh, the microphone unmuted um, so that we can hear each other and communicate in that way. Um, so, just a good kind of moment to drop in before we really get started. Um, and if you just want to close your eyes, before we do any of the other practices we're going to do, I'm just going to drop kind of a seed of intention with a question. The question is, is there a way I desire to recondition? Is there something I wish to recondition? Is there a new path or way I wish to align with? So just drop any form of that question into your body here, just center on that question. Is there a way I wish to recondition? Is there a new path I wish to align with? Whether or not there's a clear answer right now, it's okay. A few moments just to breathe and center on that question. Okay. So I spoke just a momentarily kind of about focusing on the throat center um, or the throat chakra if you work with that kind of system. Um, but there's kind of four tools we're going to focus on today that help center and open up our throat center, right? So the four tools are um, listening, speaking or using our voice, journaling, writing, of affirmations, and then some body work, which we'll do focusing on that part of the body. Uh, then there's a little kind of fifth, it's not really a tool, but the fifth dimension I talked about um, in the email about um, the offering of blot, which is a Scandinavian word about um, like a ritualistic tool of taking an, an object from one location and leaving it somewhere else. Um, whether or not you have your blot with you, some object from nature or from a space, um, we're not gonna use that in the practice. The idea is just to have it with you. You've brought it from somewhere, you have it with you. And then over the course of the next 24 to 48 hours during the full moon cycle, just leave it somewhere different from where you got it. So make an offering to the moon energy, in the sense of leaving blood. Um, so that's kind of the fifth tool. 
that'll happen around this practice, but not within it. And that's making an offering. And an offering is a way of communicating too. And any form of communication we do helps open up our throat center. So we're gonna start with a little bit of body work, um, getting some energy flow and stretching out around the throat and the neck. We'll start by doing some charging exercises, um, kind of charging up the meridians is what I sometimes call it. Um, so the meridians primarily we're thinking about the ones along the arms, chest, throat, neck, shoulders. So like the lungs, the heart, um, the intestines, uh, and then like the bladder and gallbladder here in the back of the neck, the kidneys here in the front of the rib cage. So all of that area we're gonna be charging up. So we'll start with the hands outstretched in front of you. And just in a nice kind of regular, relatively swift rhythm, we're gonna breathe in, make a fist, and breathe out, release the fist. <sighs> like that. <sighs> yeah, and really push the air out like that. Just let your palms hover in front of each other. Notice if you feel any heat or charge or magnetism, electricity, feeling between them. And we're gonna charge a different way. So this time, we're gonna extend the arms up above the head, breathe in with this extension, and we're gonna breathe out, and we're gonna draw a fist to our shoulders. And let your ribs kind of lift up, stretch the whole spine up from the hips. Relax and bring the hands to face each other again. Feel some of that energy flow between the palms. Okay, good, and we're gonna do a couple little gentle stretches for the throat. So bring the hands here just below the collarbone, one on top of the other, right in the center here. Breathe in, lift the chin up. Breathe out, bring the chin towards your chest. Breathe in, lift the chin up. And breathe out towards the chest. Keeping this rhythm going. And we're getting some really nice energy flow from our palms after kind of charging the meridian flow. Opening up those channels and bringing it into our throat. Back to the center. And then we're going to do a little exercise for stretching the throat muscles. So bring one uh, hand, just a, one or two fingers, to your Adam's apple or just above your Adam's apple. And we're going to do a little practice. So here, make the kind of movement you make at the beginning of a yawn. So not the full yawn, although this may prompt you to yawn, but that kind of uh, just starting to open the jaw and the cheekbones lift up a little bit. And feel how from the contact in the Adam's apple, these throat muscles kind of stretch down, they sink in. Adam's apple kind of sinks down and in. So if you can feel that a little bit and feel that how that motion, that first half of the yawn creates that little gentle relaxation stretch down. We're gonna do that kind of on the inhalation, this kind of inhale of this half yawn. And when you exhale, make a very high-pitched ah, like a high-tone ah. 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 
Feel that vibration with your fingers against your throat. Oh. 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 release the hand contact. And in this position, I want you to feel like you can bounce from your sit bones a little bit. So just kind of feel that bouncing, gentle bouncing, and then have the same practice with your throat that we did before, just without the hands. So kind of a half yawn. <sighs> So you feel maybe two kinds of vibrations, the vibration of the voice and then the vibration of the voice. And you can start to feel the voice deeper. that practice. Take a moment. And we're going to move from that into a, a rhythmic breathing practice. So from a little bit of sound and vibration, both with the charging up the meridians, the vocalized vibration, and then a whole body shaking and bouncing. So we find a couple different ways to find vibration, uh, charge, electricity through our bodies. We're going to do some rhythmic breathing, and then we're going to move with that rhythm into some more sound work. So we'll do this like we do on Saturdays. We do the four count. Um, we'll breathe in for the count of four, breathe out for the count of four. So just take a second to see if you can you know, find that count if you need to start with two or three and work towards it. Breathe in, two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four, in, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four, in, two, Three, four, and out. Two, three, four, and two, three, four, out. Two, three, four. This rhythm going for a moment at your own pace.
keeping this rhythm going. Now when you breathe out, have a nice gentle humming coming from the belly if possible. Just one more time. Raise your hands up in the air. Notice what you feel through your body. And then we're going to lower our hands, but we're going to do so by touching our body, starting with the top of the head and just going down wherever feels right. And going all the way down as low as you feel comfortable, all the way down to the feet if you like. Wherever feels right for you, hips, knees. So bring a little healing contact, then you can move the hands back up. And bring your hands one to the throat and one to the heart, like this. We're going to do a little more sound work, but it's not going to be um, one steady rhythm. We're going to change it up on the sound. So we're going to start with a nice slow ah, and it can be high pitched or low pitched, or you can change each time. A nice slow and steady breath. Ah. Nice ah, release. Ah, 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 ah. And any tone or pitch you ah, like. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, 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 ah. ah. Just center back to a controlled breath. We're going to move to another sound. This time we're going to do ha. It's going to be real short and swift breathing. So uh, ha. 
Okay, center back into neutral breathing. Just take a moment to notice if you feel a difference between those two sounds or between the slow or the swift breath. We're gonna to move to a slow breath pattern again. We're gonna do O, nice slow releasing with O sound. O. to neutral breath. One more sound we're going to do hum, nice swift and short. So breathing in and release hum. 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 And return to neutral breath. And take a moment to notice. Differences between short and long sounds between each tone, each different pitch. Notice what you feel with your hands here in contact with the heart and throat, energy flowing, maybe heat, maybe perspiration, where you feel stimulation in other places in your body. Notice all of that. Notice too if any emotions, thoughts, triggers are coming up for you and try to be with them as much as you can. Trusting in your safety with your energy flow, your, your body, your own healing contact, embracing your own body.
whenever you're ready to release your hands. We're going to do a little bit of standing practice next. So we're going to really engage the whole body in with this vibration, getting the energy moving together. So take your time, come to a comfortable standing position. Just enough space to, to turn your body kind of not into any of your arms. Take a stance that's about shoulder width or a little wider. First, just feel the weight of your body. Sometimes with all the sound and vibration and resonance you work, you actually can feel heavier. You might also feel lighter, but it can really change the dynamics of our inner body just from sitting there working with resonance, vocalization, vibration, and tone, opening up lots of energy flow from the throat and the heart and the whole body. We're just going to do a couple practices here to work on engaging that whole body flow together with what we've already started. So bend your knees a little bit, feel the weight of your body down. Relax your pelvis so you can maybe feel your glute muscles, the perineum and the base of the pelvis, the sphincters. See if you can open and release those so we continue to embrace this weightedness of the body, this gravitation. Take a few breaths noticing that. Again, you might still feel really light, or you might feel more heavy, but whatever you feel, heaviness, lightness, rising, sink. Just notice it. We're going to do a little practice called knocking on the doors of life. So this begins by turning around our hips like this, letting the arms just kind of swing with this turning. The doors of life in this uh, scenario are going to be our hips or what's called the lower dantian center. So once you get a little bit of a steady rhythm with your turning from the hips, you can make your hands into soft fists, or if you prefer, open palms is okay. And let them tap against the back and front of the hips like this. Keeping the knees slightly bent, Noticing if you're starting to um, contract those muscles under the pelvis again, and if you are, see if you can release that still. Open up that rooting and grounding channel for the body here. And we're trying to shake up from the lower body center, the lower down channel. We may have already done a lot of work in the body, in our energy field, with that sound vibration, sound heal. Finding our inner voice, and now we're going to just kind of distribute all that energy through the rest of the body and stay grounded. Just let your arms be really relaxed. I like to describe this movement like the the arms are clouds, but your hand is like a heavy raindrop falling from the cloud. So the arms are totally light and relaxed, but the, the hands themselves are heavy. Just check in with your breath. You need to make sure you're still breathing steadily, gently, relaxed. This 
slowly let this movement die away, kind of rotate back into the center slowly. We're going to do some full body vibrating. So we'll start with just the hips. This kind of sachet of the hips, you could almost call it, where sink straight in the other leg. So the hips go back and forth, sacheting or rocking the hips. So start there. Feel as you go that you're kind of shifting weight a little bit from one side to the other. So as you sachet and shake the hips, you're also shifting a little bit of your whole body. As you find this rhythm, you can start to bounce more deeply to the knees. Creating whole body vibration up from the earth. This is kind of a companion, uh, like an apositional companion to vibration from the voice, right? We're just kind of high up in the body. Now we're vibrating from the earth, really low in the body. Then you can start to bounce more deeply. You can keep some of that sachet and turning, but you don't have to. You can just stay neutral and bounce, whatever feels right. You're going to start bouncing more deeply, creating a whole body bounce and vibration. And don't be afraid to release with sounds too, right? Like that. We're working with, with the voice, with our body's voice, oh. sounds that need to come out. This is another opportunity to engage in some of those same sounds. So if you'd like to now combine that with this whole body vibration, you can combine some of those sounds. Huh. Ah. Huh. Huh. Ah. Oh, many other sounds that we didn't do. Those are very specific sounds for specific vibrations. You can grunt, you can growl. Just keep that bouncing going. You can start to bounce around a little bit if you want to get more space, move your feet. It's up to you and the space you have available to you. You get the shoulders bouncing, the chest, you feel the rib cage can bounce. You can let the spine open up a little bit. Use your breath, use the sounds to move with that bounce. You can open up your neck, your head, let that bounce. Really embrace any sound that needs to come out in your body that needs to be expressed. I know you can close your eyes and just be in your body and feel sounds as they come. Feel your body unified with your sound. <sighs> Just let your body sink back into stillness and see if you can feel that vibration in your whole body. Might 
might feel tingling, buzzing, vibrating, temperature change, warmth, like a watery sensation across your skin. Just notice all of that for a second. Allow your body to sway and move, find internal flow. Don't force artificial stillness, but just be in that stillness, feeling everything you feel. Sit back down, give me one moment. Just teach it, but I'll just see it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we kind of join together this sound vibration, this whole body vibration. And now with a lot of that flow open up in us, we're gonna do a little journaling affirmation. So this next kind of element of um, connecting to the throat center. So you can get your writing materials handy. And I'm just gonna have you write on a couple of specific questions that I have written out here. So I'll read them out and you have a chance to write down the questions and then you're going to take, you know, 10 or so minutes to, to write some responses to them again. And I think in the context of kind of um, communication, finding your, your genuine voice, um, which is something that I think to a degree we all have fluctuations with in our life where there's maybe times where we feel we're very genuine in our voice expression, communication, language, and sometimes it's difficult or there are things that, that can't come out. So these questions can address some of those ideas. But again, think of what you're writing as a response versus an answer. Um, so it's not kind of a solution to the question, but just a response, something that you respond to. And, and think from your body too, if you need to, when you read out the question to write on it, maybe close your eyes, center in your body with your breath and then respond from that place. Um, so the first question is, what do you need to do to recenter, refuel and repair? The second question, is there somewhere in your life where you wish to communicate more clearly? Is there somewhere in your life where you wish to communicate more clearly? Again, you can interpret that anyway. It could be person, place, area topic, um, you might feel it out as you think about it. Third question, is there an emotion you have trouble expressing? Is there an emotion you have trouble expressing. You can kind of extract or extrapolate on that response as needed. And then we'll have one more, one last question. Is there something you wish to commit more deeply to moving forward? Is there something you wish to commit 
more deeply to moving forward. With those four questions, take some time, um, let's say about 10 minutes, to write some responses to them and give them again your, your whole body's attention. Um, and again, thinking of them as responses and not so much as answers. So it can be piecemeal, scattered, um, different responses with different thoughts. They don't all have to fall in line. You know, just go with your, your feelings for each one. So take a little time for that and then we'll come back. Thank you. 
Okay. All right. So those are things, like I said, we're not going to release and burn and do that kind of ritualistic with this writing. They are things to hold on to um, for growth, for your own resources, um, to resource back to whether just in your knowledge or with the, the notes. Um, we're going to do a couple affirmations out loud. Um, I have two that I've written down. The third one um, is going to be a, a certain phrasing of the answer to your last question. So the question is, um, is there something you would wish to commit more deeply to moving forward? Um, if you wrote more than one answer, like multiple things, um, just pick one. And what I want you to, and we'll do this affirmation last, but just to prepare, I want you to take that one and we're going to phrase it as I am a commitment to, rather than I'm making a commitment, you are the commitment, right? So I'll give you an example and then we'll do it again at the end of the three affirmations, but I'll give you an example for my, I am a commitment to finding joy and brightness in the genuine selves of mine and others. So something that you wish to make that commitment to, right? And then just phrasing it as that I am the commitment. I am a commitment to whatever it is. So we'll do that affirmation last. First affirmation, and we're going to repeat each one five times, um, but let's not rush. So we've done that work with the voice. If you want to connect to your body again, you can. I'm going to connect to my body. So the first affirmation. Five times, nice and, and slow pace, um, either with each exhalation of breath or every few moments or so. We're going to say, this is my voice. Okay. So this is the first affirmation. This is my voice. This is my voice. My voice. This is my voice. My voice. Again, take as long as you need between each one. You notice if you feel anything in your body. This, Three is, more times. this is my voice. 
This is my voice. This is my voice. This is my voice. This is my voice. This is my voice. Take a moment to pause. We're going to move to the next affirmation. This one is going to be my voice comes clearly from my whole body. My voice comes clearly from my whole body. Again, five times or, or roughly, you can do more or less. Make sure you take moments to just let it feel and sink into your body. My voice comes clearly from my whole body. It comes clearly from my whole body. My voice comes clearly from my whole body. Clearly from my whole body. My voice comes 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 clearly from my whole body. And take a moment to rest. Then we're going to move to the last affirmation. This is your own one. I am a commitment to whatever you found in the answer to the last question. I am a commitment to finding joy and brightness in the genuine selves of mine and others. I am a commitment to the end of suffering. I'm a commitment to finding joy and brightness I in the genuine selves of mine and others. I am a commitment to the end of suffering. I am a commitment to finding joy and brightness in the genuine selves of mine and others. To the end of suffering. I am a commitment to the end of suffering. I'm a commitment to finding joy and brightness in the genuine selves of mine and others. Let that sink into your body. Take a moment if you like to with the eyes closed. Just feel all of those affirmations sink in your body and resonate with you. This is my voice. My voice comes clearly from my whole body. And I am a commitment to feel them in your body. Maybe each one kind of found a different place in your body or, or sparked a different sensation. See if you can just notice that. Feel where your breath is. What does your breath feel like? And then we're going to finish with some free vocalization. So we started a little earlier with some vocalizing. And you can move in any pattern you want. Um, swift breaths, slow breaths, changing them up. Any sounds, like we were when we were standing and bouncing too. So freely vocalizing, releasing through breath. Um, again, you can contact the throat. You can touch yourself anywhere that it feels like good energy, good healing contact, gentleness. Um, close your eyes, open your eyes, whatever feels right or comfortable. So just remembering your affirmations, remembering your, your body is here with you. It is you. And just releasing the sound.
Just migrate your way back to silence. Feel that relaxation, that whole body vibration. Your voice is in your whole body, your whole being, communicating with everything. Just carry that wisdom of your own voice with you to the night, to the day, this next moon cycle. Carrying your commitment, you can remind yourself of your commitment at any time. Drawing resource from this sound vibration whole body vibration, as well any notations of communication, contact, expression that you want to take with you. Thank you very much for practicing this moon cycle. Thank you. 
That was lovely. Thank you.